Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're going to be talking about Florian Verts because he could he be Barcelona's superstar signing in 2025. We're going to be talking about him, and as well as we're going to be talking about some Barcelona center backs. We're going to be talking about Pau Cubarsi, uh in regards to the Spanish national team. We're going to be talking about Eric Garcia and Ron Rajo to try to clarify their futures as well. Uh, but guys, before I get started on the video, make sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms. Everything's posted down below in the description. Go over there and check me out. That way you guys can stay up to date with everything that I do on the channel. But guys, let's get straight into the video and let's talk about Pau Cobarsi because Pau Cobarsi, he has been officially excluded from the Euro squad and he will not be participating in the Euros in this upcoming summer. Now, I know this is going to be a disappointment for Pau Cobarsi who in the later part of the season, he has been playing some absolutely fantastic football and he's been, you know, such an amazing emergent talent to emerge out onto the scene. He's been absolutely fantastic putting in some fantastic performances against PSG, against the Madrid against Napoli against you know Real Madrid he's been absolutely fantastic and it's crazy to think that he is only 17 years of age and the composure that this kid has is absolutely fantastic but you know it's not the end of the world he is 17 he will have more opportunities to play you know in the Euros in the future but something you know that could be viewed as a positive is that now since he's not going to be playing in the Euros he is most likely going to be playing for Spain's Olympic team uh, a report from Cope says that Pau Cobarsi will be part of Spain's squad for the Olympic Games. And, uh, you know, this is a very good thing. We don't want a repeat of the Pedri situation where Pedri, he played both the Euros and the Olympics. And then, you know, we, he received a whole bunch of injury problems. And then, you know, he was plagued by them and he wasn't able to show his full potential in Barcelona. And so, you know, Pau Cobarsi, he will miss the Euros, but he will be there for the, Spain's, uh, for the Spain squad in the Olympic Games. And, um, you know, all the best to Pau Cobarsi. Uh, but now, guys, I'm going to be talking about Florian Verge because, as I said in the intro of the video, could Florian Verge be Barcelona's superstar signing in 2025? Now, why do I say this? I say this because a report from Mundo Deportivo, it says that uh, Florian Verge, it's Deco's and Barcelona's dream, and, and they wish to sign him, you know, uh, to make a marquee signing in 2025, and they want that to be Florian Verge. Now, we all know that Florian Wirtz is a fantastic player. He's been one of the world's best players, and he has had an outstanding season for Bayer Leverkusen. But the thing is, you know, Barcelona, they just do not have the financial means to go out and buy him. Bayer Leverkusen, they'll be asking for over 100 million euros for the German, and that's something that just Barcelona, they can't really pay in this moment. And so Barcelona, they're planning on, you know, buying him next season, um, Florian Verts, he is most likely going to stay at Bayer Leverkusen. Deco, he has been following him. He has, you know, um, tried to have good relationship. Hansi Flick knows Florian Verts as well uh, due to his time in the German national team. And so, you know, the foundations are there for Barcelona, you know, to, to just basically get into contact with Florian Verts, just see if he'll be open, you know, to the move to Barcelona. And honestly, guys, my thoughts on Florian Verts is that, you know, he's an outstanding player. He's fantastic. But do I want him to be our superstar signing in 2025? And my answer is simple, no. Now, why do I say this? It's because Barcelona's midfield is absolutely packed. That interior role, that number 10 position, there's so many players who can play in that position. You have Pedri, you have Fermin Lopez, you have Gavi, you have Gundogan. Those are four players that I've just mentioned. And you know, we don't even know which La Masia youngster is going to come out next season who could potentially you know, add another name and make it even more difficult uh, for Hansi Flick to choose what midfielders to put. And why would you go out for a similar profile of that, of, of you know, a Pedri, a, a Fermin Lopez, even though some people could say Florian Versa is an upgrade on that. But still, you're going to be spending a, over 100 million euros to sign another midfielder. I just don't see that. I would rather that money you know, be spent wisely. And hey, look for a striker. You know, Look for a goalkeeper. Look for maybe a left winger. Now, Barcelona this summer, they are going to be looking to get a left winger, a Nico Williams. We are going to address that pivot situation, whether that be uh, Mikel Merino or Joshua Kimmich. But you know, use that money in other positions that we desperately need. You know, maybe you're right back. You know, is Jules Kuhne going to be playing you know, in that right back position? Or should Barcelona you know, move him out to center back? 
and uh, what's going to happen with Alejandro Balde? Is he going to have like a backup? You know, even though I think Florian Verts is a fantastic player, I just want Barcelona to spend that, that money wisely and look to other positions, which I think, um, you know, are in, are, are in need of reinforcements. Uh, but now, guys, I'm going to be talking about Er Garcia. Because Eric Garcia, uh, he has had a fantastic season for Girona. And, um, you know, when Xavi was still manager, everything seemed to look like Eric Garcia was going to be coming back and he was going to stay at Barcelona. Something that I did not agree and I wanted to hit sale. And, um, you know, funny enough, a report from Mundo Deportivo, it says that Hansi Flick will soon meet with Deco to address the squad needs. And in regards to Eric Garcia... Girona, they are keen to have him back due to you know, his significant uh, contributions, his good passing. Um, he has scored five goals for Girona, and he has been a, a fantastic player for them in the defense. And, uh, you know, Hansi Flick, he will be looking at Eric Garcia, and he'll be deciding his future, um, you know, in the preseason. Uh, Hansi Flick, he's going to have, you know, a look on not only on Eric Garcia, but all of the Barcelona players, and just see, hey, who can I keep, who do I need, and who's going to, you know, make me succeed at this club and you know, hopefully Barcelona they do sell Eric Garcia because we do have an overbooking in that position you know we have a lot of a Barcelona center back and especially with Mikel Fe you know asking to be brought up to the first team that just reduces even more um, you know the need of another center back and honestly if I'm Barcelona I would be looking to sell and if Girona you know they offer 15 20 25 million for Eric Garcia uh, I'd, I'd, I'd sell uh, but now, guys, I want to be talking about another Barcelona center back. I want to be talking about Ronald Araujo. Because Ronald Araujo's um, you know, future at Barcelona is not clear. Now, as of this moment, uh, Ronald Araujo, he's not going to be leaving Barcelona. But the thing is, Ronald Araujo, he has not, you know, there is no agreement uh, for that contract renewal in which Barcelona, you know, they did send to Ronald Araujo. Uh, Ronald Araujo, he has not said yes, he hasn't said no. It's just complete silence. The, the Ronald Araujo renewal is at a, a, you know, standstill. But uh, something that is good is that following Vincent's company's arrival at Bayern Munich, uh, you know, their pursuit for Ronald Rajo has gone cold. They have other priorities, but, you know, the thing could change, for example, if other teams such as Manchester United, um, you know, if they figure out the situation with Eric Ten Hag, who's, who's going to stay, who's going to leave. And um, if they do bring a new manager, uh, Ronald Rajo, he could appear as a potential target. But the thing is with Ronald Rajo is that, you know, none of us know his future at the moment. We assume that he's going to be staying because he has said in the past that he wants to stay at Barcelona. He is a Barcelona player, but he's received a lot of criticism due to that, you know, PSG game and you know, and the games that followed. He, you know, he didn't have a fantastic end to the season. And the thing is, could he leave uh, this summer? You know, because you know, money, huge money that would be coming for Rajo would help the club tremendously. Uh, but guys, that was it for the Barcelona news of the day. Definitely let me know your guys' thoughts on everything that I discussed on today's video. What do you guys make of Paco Garcia being excluded? from uh the euros and uh florian verts could he be barcelona's superstar signing in 2025 what are your thoughts on him and uh guys thank you guys for watching thank you for supporting me i'll catch you guys all in the next video